Hello guys, hello guys, welcome again Buffet2. I'm back with the updates. As you know, Buffet2, I try and make sure Uti, I bring you the news, guys. I bring you the news. Let's start. Let's start. Kasten Serino Buffet. Tinda Vizim Nandi Gengayala Panu Kasten Serino Uti Uti. He is open to playing for Ini. Bafana Bafana. Now, I did tell you, uh, beginning of the year, no, it was in December, in fact. I told you that, Ngoche Nawari. I think it was the 18th or 19th. I told you, Tingali Odeit, Ukasten Serini Playa Sundowns, Elbia Eyo Rukwai. He would be eligible to play for East South Africa because Manje, Sayashani, say, U5 years, Ala Mzansi. So that would make him, you know, to get that citizenship. So the good news is that he says, Uti, he is very much open to representing Mzansi. You know, he would jump at such an opportunity. So now the hands is in. <laughs> now the ball is in the court of Ilona Inalapena Ulo Hugo Bruce to decide in what is he going to do it or not. He says I have had a great time in this beautiful country. I love everything about it and if I get uh, presented with the chance to don the national team colors, I would jump at this opportunity. But the decision does not rest with me. There is no player born in South America who has played for Ibafana Bafana. And if I, as Karun Kasten Serino, receive this call, I would be happy to represent this beautiful nation. Guys, need I repeat it? Nizwele. Amakama pume emlumi nwake la punu serino uti. Yazi. Um, I would be the first one coming from, you know, abroad, coming from North America, you know, to come and, and represent Leonel Pena in South Africa. That would be, you know, a great opportunity for me. I'm open to doing it. I would jump at the first moment that I get such an opportunity. So let's see what Hugo Bruce is going to do. The good news is that we've qualified for AFCON. The other good news is that which means everyone has a chance to prove themselves to Uhigo Bruce so that they can be selected when we go and play against Morocco and the likes in the AFCON. Moving on, guys, Goodman Mosele and Yenelapena Ubandile Shandu have returned successfully to the Pakaniyas. They have returned from their injuries. So they are back and they are available for selection. Those are the good news that Orlando Pirates receive ahead of the big match that they have tomorrow, you know, against Yonala Pena and Richard Spey. Goodman Musele, hey man, my injury na yatogum shopa, he was a regular beginning of the season, but things started to go, you know, a bit south nyana, shoulder injuries and stuff, and ish man, you understand? So, na yega la panu bandile shandu, ni boni li pirates ba fei to say fagu mako la panaga right back here. Aman taman ning baas buza, what's going on? Why banga fagu munya? Upu Shandu, now we have to Shandu. So we respond to Jose Rivera, who decided to win the Nixasa because Bandile Shandu is back. Guys, let me conclude with Richard Ofori. Well, it's nothing big that I want to tell you about Ofori, except the fact that until now, Orlando Paris has not opened any negotiations to improve the first contract that they initially made or put on the table. Ofori one big contract that I've seen, but I phone. Well, I was on what I phone here. Ute. Ufuna something a better, something advanced. Yeah, but with the pirates now, it means they offer a better. But pirates, up until now, with that update, they have not made any improved um, offer uh, on the table for Ofori. So as it stands, it looks like Ofori will leave pirates come end of the season because his contract will expire in June. Unless the Pacaneers, uh, they bring that beautiful offer, that offer that Ofori is looking for. And then, you know, if it's lucrative enough to impress him, he will accept it. Thank you. Is thank you for it. Guys, I'm born. I want to make video on your end because I'm born. Because I'm support and I'm born. I'm I very much appreciate this. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye.